What's up, YouTube? I'm Sonic Kevin, and today we'll be talking about a update to Valorant that Riot has made where they state that they will start recording voice chat in-game to fight toxicity. With this news, there's been a lot of backlash on social media, similar to the whole thing where they have the Vanguard anti-cheat, which operates at the kernel level. Obviously, with these new measures in place, some people are upset about the lack of privacy, but I feel like there's a lot of misinformation again on the internet about what they're doing this for and uh, why this is actually a good thing for the players in Valorant. This article is written by Polygon, so I kind of want to just read through it, get through some things, clarify some things, and just give you my thoughts on it. Now, up top here, it says... Riot Games is going to start recording in-game voice communication in Valorant with the intention of evaluating and moderating toxic behavior in its first-person shooter. Valorant is the only game in which Riot will record and review voice chat right now. Despite the policy applying to all Riot games, including TFT and League of Legends, Riot said it will listen to and review voice logs only if a player is reported. Players who don't want their voice chat recorded will have the option to turn off voice chat entirely. Otherwise, by using chat functionality on Valorant, your communication will be recorded and moderated. Now, what's important here is that these voice logs are only accessed if someone is reported and they need to do a manual review, alongside with the option to just turn off voice chat entirely, right? However, with Valorant being a team game, if you want to play at any competitive level, then you're going to need to use voice to communicate with your teammates. And so... I feel like the people who turn off voice chat will not be able to play ranked. Please correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think that's how it should be and that's what will benefit the community the most. Now, if you played Valorant anytime within the last six months, you should be pretty aware of the whole toxicity issue that we have, especially on the rank ladder. There are some weirdos who just go around trolling and uh, spamming voice comms and only using it to harass people rather than to communicate and uh, win the game. And that is a huge problem that this whole voice log is trying to combat. Another thing that you should note is that since Valorant is an FPS and a lot of the comms happen in real time, you're not going to be typing to harass people mostly. It's mostly going to be done through voice, but it's the same concept of how everything on the server is always logged, whether it's a message you send in all chat or a team chat, everything that's on that server is going to be logged and access whenever there is a manual review and so voice just adds another layer of depth and allows more people who are reviewing the case manually to get a better understanding of uh, the situation they say that our goal is not just to reduce toxicity but to bring players together as well it's also important to clarify that the voice comms through valorant official channels are the only ones being recorded not any of the ones on your personal computer I think Riot's end goal with this system is that they want to build an AI that's able to accurately and effectively handle harassment and toxicity in voice chat in real time as well. And so in order to do that, they need to start by having recordings done and then manually reviewing cases in order to build that sample size. I personally think that's really cool and that will also help them scale back on staff who are manually reviewing these cases uh, in the short term, so they can focus on more important things as well. Obviously, as we become more technologically dependent in today's world, I think data privacy is a huge issue and uh, having cases where it can be abused is a huge problem. The thing is, by playing Valorant, you are agreeing to whatever terms and conditions that they set, right? And because Riot has the goal of pushing Valorant as a future esport for many years to come, they want to establish these ground lines and they're standing behind that by just continuously pushing new protocols that are trying to solve problems with their game currently. Obviously, one of them being toxicity. Personally, I feel like if you dislike this voice recording thing that they're putting in place, I think you might be part of the problem and using voice chat to harass other people. Otherwise, the only, the only other case why I would see this as a major turn off for you is if you are doing something that has sensitive data on your computer where Valorant is also installed. But if that really is the problem, you shouldn't be playing Valorant on that system. You should have a separate system for whatever is so important. To be honest, I could care less if they just went through my PC because all they're going to find is months upon months of content. 
Now, for those of you who have played Counter-Strike Global Offensive, you probably know what a demo is. And a demo, which I think they should be implementing in Valorant within the next six months to a year, hopefully, fingers crossed, is um, a recording of each match, basically. And you can go back round by round, analyze frame by frame what went on in that round. And with third-party matchmaking services like Faceit and ESEA that was popular with the competitive Counter-Strike scene, these demos would also record comms for whatever was said through VOIP. That's basically the same thing that Valorant is trying to do, except for now, the recordings are only on their end. We don't have the ability to download a demo, go back and rewatch a game to at any point in each round and he listened to enemy comms as well. That would be sick though. Valorant, please add demos, I'm begging you. At the end of the day, I really support this change with Valorant because this just shows to me that Riot wants to be proactive about solving problems as they become more apparent to their player base. And the fact that they're actively communicating these changes as they start to implement them over the next few months or maybe years down the road, I think is a phenomenal thing. And that's one thing that the Riot dev teams have been really good at, which is communication. <coughs> Respawn. Anyways, that's about it for this video. I will leave the official links to the Polygon article as well as the blog post by the Riot dev team. If you disagree with me in any way, let me know in the comments and uh, try to help me understand why you think my opinion is trash. I'd be glad to have a discussion on this topic. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Or just straight up bad at the game or... Okay, I can't say that.